Are you serious? Are you serious? We've got some, there's some things happening around the world that are never good, but you have to deal with the fact that they are, they are taking place. First of all, I want to thank Nick of New York and Troy of North Carolina. At least 43 people have been killed in a Guatemalan bus crash. Terrible. Uh, it happened, of course, yesterday, September the 9th. Get a cup of coffee for a moment. Uh, this bus was loaded with passengers that plunged into the ravine along a road in Guatemala uh, yesterday, killing at least 43 people. Dozens more passengers were injured when the uh, bus crashed en route to San Martin there in Guatemala. The death toll has been at least 24 men, 10 women, 4 children. Uh, also, 35 people have been injured and taken to a hospital. The cause of the crash yet to be determined, but we know that the bus went over, went off the road and rode 650 feet to the river at the bottom of the Levine. Uh, it's a miracle anybody's alive. I mean, really, a miracle that anybody is still alive. Also, we've had a terrible bus crash in Iran. I want to thank Nick of New York for this, but 44 people have been killed and 39 injured in Iran. So 43 killed, 35 injured in Guatemala, 44 killed, 39 injured in Iran when two passenger buses collided outside the capital city of Tehran, Iran, and then caught fire the Iranian media is reporting this happened today, uh, September the 10th, 2013. A terrible situation developing. Highway Police Chief Mohammad Reza Ramander is uh, telling Mir's news agency both buses erupted in flames after the collision. Uh, it was a terrible, terrible accident in Iran. Please pray for the people that, uh, that are injured in both Guatemala and Iran and pray for the families of all of these that have died from these two terrible bus crashes um, in the world. Now, we have some other more information about earthquakes. Somebody said to me, well, I just don't think there's that many earthquakes anymore. No, the news doesn't really report it. I mean, I give you earthquake reports just about on a daily basis on my live show. But Troy, North Carolina, sent me a, a visualization which will help you. Here's the earthquakes that have taken place in the last 24 hours. Okay, here's one list. These are all separate earthquake events. Okay, uh, uh, most of them are probably around uh, Richter on the uh, magnitude of 2. The ones highlighted, though, in orange are over 4. Okay, the, anything else is below 4. It could be a 3.5, it could be a 2.8, it could be a, a 1.4, but you know what I'm saying. There's two pages, and here's the third page. So you got two and a half full pages of unbelievable amount of earthquake activity. Now the ones I've highlighted are in orange. It's a 4.8 earthquake that hit Tonga, a 4.4 that hit Japan, a 4.7 earthquake in Chile, a 5.2 earthquake in Indonesia, also a 5.1 in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, a 4.0 earthquake hit Ferndale, California in America, a 4.7 in the Kuril Islands, a 5.7 in Indonesia, a 4.7 in Chile, a 5.1 in the Solomon Islands, a 5.2 separately, half hour apart, uh, in the Solomon Islands, a 4.7 in Vanuatu, and a 4.8 in Anguilla, and a 4.9 earthquake hit Attic, Alaska in America, also a 4.5 in India, and a 4.5 in Greece. 
Those are the earthquakes at least over four of a significance. So we do have earthquakes in divers places, unbelievable. And we do have uh, accidents and crashes and people dying uh, everywhere. And so we have a continual amount of sorrow in the land. We continue to pray one for another. There's some more information I'm going to share with you. I'll be right back. Remember, today is a travel day for me. So we are going to have a live show. It's one hour. It comes on at 9 o'clock Eastern. So in just a little bit here this morning, at 9 a.m. Eastern, we are going to do a one-hour show on the coming apocalypse. God bless.